Google. It's the one website that knows everything. But that's not always right. In the last year, I went to visit four countries from around the world only to find people and places that you just cannot easily find on Google. In China, Senegal, Armenia, and Hawaii, there are people and places that you must see in person and not on Google. And this journey starts in the country of China. Imagine if I give you a pair of shoes that are a little bit too small. You put them on, you feel uncomfortable, and you can't wait to take them off. Nobody likes tight shoes. But this is exactly what happened to this woman. She and many girls were forced to wear very tiny shoes for years just to keep their feet small. The smaller the feet, the better looking a woman was considered even if it meant deforming the body. This shocking tradition back then was considered beautiful. But this is not a sad story, it's an inspiring one. 91 years ago, China banned this tradition here and everywhere. And this 95-year-old grandma is one of only 10 women left with these feet in the world. This tradition is no more and this is a reminder that we should be grateful for all the traditions that we didn't have to follow. That's one minute. Hi, what if I told you there's a forest, a lake, an ocean, a desert, all in the same place? This is a buffet of colors unlike any I've ever seen. The pink lake has a salt level higher than that of the Dead Sea, which means here you can float more. And the lake is pink. And right next to the lake is the Atlantic Ocean, where you can have it all for yourself because this beach is literally empty. Right next to a green forest that is right next to a yellow desert. This is like four worlds in one in the country of Senegal. That doesn't have as many tourists as you would expect. That's why all of this we experienced all by ourselves. Come here before everyone else does. That's one minute! See you tomorrow! Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. We have just arrived to a place that makes no sense to us. We are now in a car on the bottom of a hill and the hill is going up. But when we put the car on neutral, the car doesn't go down, it goes up! As if there is no gravity. We bought a football and put it on the bottom of the hill and the ball too went up! We dropped water on the ground, the water went up! We tried walking up the hill, it was too easy and walking down was too hard! This is a hill in Armenia's mountains where gravity went nuts! Down is up, and up is down, and that will blow your mind! But in reality, gravity is not nuts. This is just an optical illusion where it looks different from what it actually is. But who cares? For this day, on this hill, on this mountain, gravity went nuts! And it's a lot more fun this way! That's what I mean. See you tomorrow! The guy you see next to me doesn't need to use Google. Here is why. Hey, I am Cap. I can do everything only using my body, 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 body. With his body, Cap can do wonders. He can start a fire with his hands and put off a fire with his feet. He can climb a coconut tree with his legs. Husk a coconut with his mouth, open it with his muscles, and milk it with his hands. 100% organic. And his tattoos? I did by myself. This 52-year-old is super fit and young because he only eats vegan food. But sometimes you gotta eat fish. 
Cap grew up in the small country of Samoa. And in Samoa, we learn how to survive from our ancestors. At a time where everything we know we get from the internet, it is refreshing to see people who can survive without it. Just one minute, we'll see you tomorrow. This journey has taught me that the world is so much bigger than an online search engine. You just gotta go out and find it yourself. Oh, 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 oh